Well, what do you get when you follow Barry O'Neill? You either top him or go somewhere else. So we'll see what happens here. Brothers and sisters, you're a beautiful sight out there, an absolutely delightful sight, and I thank every damn one of you for coming here today. So how y'all doing? Somebody asked me if I wouldn't mind mentioning, welcome to family day, union style. <laughs> you know, brothers and sisters, it didn't have to come to this, and it never should have come to this. Children should be in their classrooms today, and teachers know they should be alongside them. The reason they're not is real simple. It's Bill 22, and that's what we're here to talk about today. With this bill, this government has stripped away the rights of teachers to free collective bargaining, a democratic right. They've taken away the right to negotiate a fair and reasonable settlement. But it's not just bad for teachers. It's bad for our children, it's bad for our families, it's bad for our communities, and it's bad for our province. When teachers walked off yesterday uh, to start their job action, they did it for all the right reasons, and we are all the right reasons. They're there standing up for the rights of all workers to negotiate collective agreements. Teachers are just the latest group of workers that are being forced to take something through liberal mistakes. And Brother O'Neill identified it. Brothers and sisters, we are the 99% and they're taking up stuff away from us and we damn well need to take it back. This is the same liberal government that has bungled us into a justice system that's in disarray. This is the same Liberal government that's bungled us into a system where our seniors are being neglected. And this is the same government that, that, that ignores the plight of developmentally disabled adults and their needs. And worse still, our young people are being forced because of Liberal bungling to take minimum wage jobs and not being able to get education opportunities. This is what our young people are paying the price with. Larger class sizes. Students that can't get help when they need it. School libraries that are closed more often than they're open. And program after program that have been cut because of budget cuts. And this government hasn't learned a thing in the last 10 years. They should know by now but they don't seem to get it. Bill 22 is not going to settle anything, nor are any other pieces of legislation that are unilaterally forced on any member of our society. There is one way that we can change this. There is one way we can do something about it. We need to fight back. We need to be loud. We need to be proud. And we need to be together. And brothers and sisters, I know we will do that. Thank you. Thank you, Daryl. We know that teachers in British Columbia have the support of working people of the province. Many of you out there are demonstrating that. But we also have the support of teachers from across the country. The BCTF has received letters of support and solidarity from teachers associations all across the provinces of, of Canada and also from our fellow teachers in Mexico and in Latin America. here today representing their provincial associations from New Brunswick, from Newfoundland, from Manitoba, from Nunavut, and from Ontario. So if you got up at three in the morning to get here, there's actually someone that beats you and came farther. So 
So our heartfelt thanks go out to those teachers and, and representatives of provincial associations. <laughs> And now I'd like to introduce you to the President of the Canadian Teachers Federation, Paul Typhair, who works very hard to ensure the well-being of his colleagues across the country. Paul is from Sudbury and began teaching in Timmins in Northern Ontario in the late 70s. He's been involved with his own union, and this is a test of my high school French, so here it goes. The Association des Enseignantes et Enseignants Franco-Ontariens. Apologies to all the French teachers out there. For over 25 years at every level, he served as a local president, provincial vice president, and then president of his own association for two consecutive ter terms. Uh, he's a friend of teachers all across Canada and a friend of BC teachers. Please welcome Paul Typhair.